I came to this country when I was seven years old initially, and then I went back for a year to Jamaica and then came back in nine. <clears throat> and I think my whole life in this country I've been wrestling with um, what does it feel like to be a woman of Jamaican descent, um, a, an African uh, woman um, of Jamaican descent living in the United States. Um, and I feel like that condition has been one of wrestling with erasure, even in the context of blackness in this country, and feeling sort of outside um, what it means to be a citizen in this country, um, even in, in the context of, of being black here as well. Um, and all of that is reflected in my art. I've been wrestling with you know, erasure of black women, um, black women you know, being second class or third class citizens in this country. Um, and it's reflected in my sound as an artist. I, my music is melancholy. It's um, very much derived from the blues tradition, mm -hmm. the African-American blues tradition, because I've been here for so long and, mm -hmm. and, and love spirituals. And also, um, I think there's some muscle and body and spirit memory of a blues tradition in Jamaica that I can't identify, but I know that it must be in me, mm -hmm. and I must have traveled with it across the water. definition of Caribbean and black and how does that how do I infuse that into my work not only using strictly a Caribbean influence because that's a conversation I feel like I'm often having with myself is that my work can be so many things and it could be continuously redefined based on how I'm thinking about black female um, identity and that's continuously changing it's fluid so it's not there's not one answer to it <laughs> my art is continuously evolving based on these kinds of reflections And with that too, like I feel like um, that really plays into my practice a lot too because it wasn't until I got here that I was thinking about myself as a woman who was like disallowed from certain things. I didn't feel that pressure until I moved here and it's because of my directness of my mother and my grandmother at all times. They'd be like, you want to do that thing? Okay, go do the thing. I, I never thought about it as like a thing that was something that I can't do because I'm a woman or a femme or anything like that. Like, no, they would be like, cool, my grandmother, like, I have a sugar cane tattoo because my grand I grew up in the cane fields. My grandfather was used to work in the cane fields. Uh, but he used to work in, like, administration. And my, my grandmother would stay at home, but she would be cutting in that yard. She would be working. 
every minute of the day and even to this day she wakes up every morning and goes to the papers at 6 a.m. because you know why? Because I want to do this and it, it's just something I have to do for my family. Somebody has to go get the news, somebody has to clean this house, somebody has to do the thing and it's just that capability, that directness, like being able to identify a need mm -hmm. and take it. Yeah. You feel that with your mom too? Absolutely. My mom and my grandma. I mean, my grandmother will, you know, cut you in a second um, with her observations. Or, <laughs> right. Always the observations. Or she just wants Always to communicate something to you. Like, you have to know this. Um, but at the same time, I know that they're not another, there isn't another person in the, in the world that wants the best for me mm -hmm, um, yeah. in the way that they do. Yeah, um, right. And who thinks that I can be whatever I can dream. Yeah. Um, right. And beyond. So... Yeah, there's a certain, you're right, I think there's a certain resilience that that experience, as hard as it may be sometimes, helps to foster in, 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 in us. Yeah. yeah. And it's a, great, it's a great contribution that we can make and have made. Right. Just showing up Definitely. Really fully every day. Being present on board and on boss, 1974, eh? Mm -hmm. Shirley Sadder. That's right. God bless. That's right. Being a black woman has influenced my art because through it, by it, with it, in it, I'm seeking to remind people of our humanity as black women and girls. In addition to being inspired by life and love and spirituality, my identity as a black woman inspires my artistic practice and the artworks that I create.